it's Joe uh, here for my two week update. It'll be two weeks from surgery tomorrow, um, two weeks post surgery tomorrow. Uh, first, the stats I'm five foot seven. I went into surgery at 250 pounds. I'm now at 232. Um, I really went from 250.4 to 232.1, but who's counting? Um, so, about 18 pounds down. Really excited about that. Um, I wanted to just focus today on like what I'm eating. I mean, I could talk about all kinds of things, but um, today just thought I'd kind of run through like a day. So first my plan, my surgeon's recommendations, uh, everyone's different. Uh, so mine was 10 days on clear liquids, which was just like broths. I could have protein powder mixed in water, different for everyone. I am now into days 11 through 20, which is full liquids, which meant adding thicker uh, low fat soups. And also I could add like uh, soy milk or low fat milk. Days 21 through 30 are meant to be pureed food. Um, but I met with my nutritionist about day 10 and she actually was aiming for me to get to pureed food sooner. Um, so she said if I was comfortable to try kind of a new food like periodically, maybe once a day. So I have been doing that. Um, so let me kind of walk you through a day. So in the morning I wake up, I take an acid reducer um, like straight away in the morning. Um, I take like a uh, one that like the Mexican pharmacy gave me, um, but, but you can also take like a Prilosec. Um, so after that, I uh, kind of do vitamins. So in the morning, I take a one Centrum chewable, uh, which has iron in it. Um, I had a hard time finding a chewable multi with iron. So um, I take then a vitamin B12 dot uh, by bariatric support. Those are kind of my two morning ones. Um, in the afternoon or in the evening, I'll also take two of these calcium citrates chewables. I don't take them in the morning with the multi because I've heard um, the calcium and the iron don't do well together. Um, my nutritionist does want me to look for another chewable calcium. Um, this one has 10 calories, two and a half grams of carbs and a couple grams of sugar. Um, so she's not wild about that, but I actually haven't been able to find one that's a lot better. Um, if you have one, let me know, write a comment. Um, so then breakfast is, has been a protein shake. Um, for me, that's mostly been a lot of the Isopure zero carb vanilla, um, or I also do the strawberries and cream. You just can't beat like the, um, nutritional value. So I'm, the, the serving size is two scoops on this. I've started at two scoops, but went down to one cause I felt like my protein shakes were too big. They were taking me too long to get through. So I do one scoop and about eight ounces of water. One scoop will give me 105 calories, half a gram of fat and no carbs. Um, so that's good. Um, I had bought some other, I'm a big fan of like sample packs of uh, protein powder. So I do have like some chike, um, which is nice. It's really creamy, but like this package has 190 calories, three and a half grams of fat and 11 carbs. So not like as desirable. Um, so I do that in the morning, usually like a vanilla, a strawberry, maybe a chocolate. I have some packets still from Undry, which were quite nice. Um, uh, one of the things I found to add to my vanilla shakes, which I'm really liking, um, is organic powdered peanut butter. Um, so I like peanut butter by protein shakes. I always have. Don't like the fat. So, uh, a tablespoon of this um, is only um, under 25 calories, under a gram of fat, and only about two and a half carbs. So um, that's really tasty. Like one tablespoon and eight ounces with my vanilla is, is really good. Um, did experiment the last couple days with frozen peaches um, as well, mixed in my Ninja, which was good. So that's breakfast protein shake. Uh, after that, I'm drinking water, um, which I'm also doing straight in the morning when I get up. Um, then... I haven't been working in the office. I've been working from home and, and it's been the weekend. Um, so then like sort of early lunchtime, around lunchtime, I've been doing um, typically more of like a juice protein. So it's been one of two things. Um, it's been an Isopure, um, usually about a half. I do the fruit punch flavor. It's not the best thing in the world. But I can tolerate it. Some people hate it. Um, but uh, I'll do like a half of this um, kind of in the middle of the day and then finish it like in the evening. Um, the thing I'm excited about recently is Syntrax Nectar Protein, which has a line of like more juice-based proteins, um, which mixed in water um, have been really nice. Loving the Caribbean Cooler. 
Um, didn't like the pink grapefruit, but everyone's different. I bought the sample pack, which was like 12 different flavors um, at myberiatricpantry.com and really liking that. Like I have, a, here's an apple, roadside lemonade, uh, lemon tea. And then they have some that are like less juice based. Um, so I tried the double stuff cookie, which was amazing. Like it was a cookie type shake. Um, I still have like a cappuccino and a vanilla bean tort. So really liking that. I'm going to buy a big thing of the Caribbean cooler, I think. Um, so that's sort of lunch, another protein thing, but, um, more around like a juice type thing. So then, um, in the afternoon, like more water, more water. And then dinner's where I've been being a little more creative. Um, I was doing a lot of soup, big fan of either the creamy chicken or the cream of chicken. Um, I got these cause I'm starting back at work this week. Um, I suspect I'd probably only do, uh, cause this is a little over 10 ounces. I'd probably only do half of this, um, around lunch if that, and then like maybe more is kind of a snack post lunch. Um, but anyway, so uh, dinner had been kind of soups. Now I've been experimenting a little more. Um, oh, so with my soups, by the way, I was trying to have like any liquid I had have protein in it. Um, so I did go and get some of the Undry unflavored, um, which does seem to do well in a lot of different things. So I'm gonna keep that on hand. Um, okay, so most recently, some of the dinner things I've tried, trying to move to more like uh, mushy food, um, I did make up some of these roasted garlic and cheddar potatoes um, the other night and do about like two tablespoons, was about a quarter of a cup of those potatoes with like a dollop of um, the, f uh, I think I say it wrong, I want to say phage, but it's spelled um, phage, I think, um, Greek yogurt. I've tried the 0%, tastes just like sour cream to me, not to everyone. Um, so you know, maybe a tablespoon or two of potatoes and then maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon of this um, has been really good. Um, and it's been good for me to kind of use it to feel like, okay, I've had enough, like now, now I'm done. Things like that the first time go right through me, <laughs> um, like within a matter of minutes. Uh, but the second time I try them, much better. I emailed my doctor about it. Um, the nurse actually came back and said that that's typical. Uh, now I'm not a doctor, so that's not medical advice. I, I don't know um, everyone's situation, but for me, it's been okay. Like the fact that it goes right through me the first time. Um, also just been trying to get in like more calories. I've been struggling with my calorie goal of 600. Haven't made it yet. Um, about the first 10 days, I was hitting about 450 calories. Now I'm up to about 550 a day. Um, so I got some hummus. I can only eat like a teaspoon at a time. Um, but it was nice to just have like something different, some texture. Uh, this is the roasted garlic, um, so that's good. And then also have been playing around with um, the Mashables squeezable fruit. It's like this is tropical, tropical fruit. Um, this is about a little over three ounces. You know, this will take me like a half an hour, um, if not more, I can't usually finish it in one kind of go. So. Um, that's sort of my day and the evening sugar-free popsicle typically and then I'm usually finishing like one of these um, So that's a bit about my day uh, So far so good um, My goal is 600 calories a day haven't met that yet um, But I'm getting in at least eight glasses of water. Well eight glasses of liquid. I count what goes in the protein shakes I count milk I count soups um Never less than 70 grams of protein. Uh, I aim for no more than 10 grams of fat and 30 grams of carbs. So that's going well so far. So that's a, a day in the life of my sleeve. <laughs> uh, so I hope you find that interesting and I'll post more soon. Thanks, bye.